All right, so the question was, when this magnet stops spinning, oh, almost got it in the picture. When this magnet stops spinning, which way will it orient itself? Right? <coughs> Still going, almost there. Come on now. Slowly going. Silly momentum. Okay, I'm bringing another magnet here. Alright. Bring it back so that this is the south and this is the north end. It's going to okay. be like this. Like with the faces on the side. I'm going to bring it so that the south end and the north end is right here. So I'm repelling that end, attracting this end. Right? You guys see that? Yeah. Attraction there. Now, what happens when I bring the south end? Oh, I didn't destroy my magnet there. Come on, slow down, magnet there. There we go. Okay. So the south end is attracting this end, right? So that means this end that I'm attached to right now is the north end. Right? Now, I'm just going to calm this thing down just a bit. Calm down. Slow down. Okay. I'm going to just ever so slightly let go. Tapping to the magnet. What's it doing? What's it doing? Did I give it some rotation when I let go? No. No. It started to spin, and now we have some momentum, so we're, we're, we're spinning, we're, we're continuing to spin. All right, so the rotational momentum. And so the unbalance. So, let's try that again. I'm going to orient it again. Okay. I'm going to take the south end and attract this north end, right? Right, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So now, calm down. Okay. I'm going to release it. And the magnet ever so slightly starts to stop. Spin. Why? Wait. I thought we were waiting for it to stop. Well, I was trying to. In, in, Speeding up the stopping process. Okay. Why is this magnet spinning? Oh, it stopped spinning. Now it's going back the other way. <laughs> it's looking for a charge. I thought we determined yesterday that magnets weren't charges. Yeah, you said they were a form of charge. Uh, the result of charge, not a form of charge. The result of charge. Okay. Why is it spinning? What's it, what's it trying to do? Find this way. Which way do we say it was north? That way. That way. Oh, the poles. Poles. What I've created here is a very large and awkward to use compass. Okay? So it's going to and hopefully, stops, right? by bringing the south end of this magnet next to that one and having it stop completely and then releasing the magnet, and you guys observed it had a very slow rotation to start, it tried to realign so the north was where? So eventually Pointing that way, right? Which is? North. North. Okay, so here I'll do it again. Here's the south end of the magnet. Okay, my whole my whole uh, awkward compass here is not spinning, right, Shelby? So I'm going to just release it and let go. Gradual acceleration. There's a force applied to it, so this acceleration is increasing, right? Or not acceleration. This velocity is increasing. It starts spinning faster. It gets past where it wants to be. It slows down, and then tries to go back to where north is pointing to the right, okay? After I let this go on forever, it would eventually end up with north pointing that way. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, guys? Because that's, that's north. This is a compass. It's just a big compass. It's a free to suspend magnet, okay? Any questions? Any questions? Anybody? Wait, so we have not watched it yet. We'll, we'll watch it again. We'll watch it in a little bit. I have a question. Okay. Yes, Lynn. So since it's um, spinning that way and it's going back, how do you actually know if it's going to stop this way? Um, if I just let it go, and I'll, I'll try to let it go for the rest of the hour and not touch it, then hopefully it'll stop. Okay? okay? Yeah. So 
one thing we are fighting though, Lynn, is air currents. And actually, there's two things we're fighting. Air currents, and that's a fishing line. And some fishing line has what's called a memory, which means which means it'll, it'll remember the way it was twisted. OK? All right, um, I have some compasses here. OK, so just some normal compasses. Um, on the compass, the red end, you guys see my magnet? The red end points to what? South, south right? The red end of the magnet points to the south pole, right? Now, if I, allow, if I let the compass just sit in my hand, which way is the red end trying to point to? It's actually magnetic, it's trying to point to you. Which way is the red end trying to point? Okay. To the right or to the left of the room? Yeah, to the left. Right. Yep. The same way the magnet is trying to point, right? So the, the, the red end is, is really trying to point towards what we call the North Pole, right? So the red end of this magnet. Since it's attracted to south, is what side of the, of the magnet inside the compass? North. The red end of this magnet inside the compass is the north end. OK, does that make sense? Does that make sense, guys? OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a magnet down here on my table. And I'm going to move a compass around the magnet so you guys can see the results. So, everybody see my magnet? Everybody see my magnet? Okay. Now, if I were to draw the field line surrounding this magnet, oh, I didn't make it. Didn't make it straight. Oh, well. There you go. That's better. Okay. So here, I'm gonna draw my magnet. Now, how do field lines point? Good. Out from the north end and into the south end, right? 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 If I put a compass right here, which way is it going to point? To the right. Right at this spot, which way is it going to point? I put a little dot on my table. Sure, I'm going to put a compass there. If I put a compass right there, which way is it going to point? Left, down, towards the south, right? What about my phone right here? Okay, don't tell Mr. Allison I'm drawing on the tables, right? Don't worry, don't worry about it. Wait, so if you draw, how would... My phone right here. Uh, wait. Or right here. Hold on. Or right here. Which way are the magnets going to point? Or which way is the compass going to point? Okay, so there's the magnets. There's the magnet. I think this is what you're describing, Sergio. There's the magnet, and it is pointing towards the red end. It's pointing towards the south, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Richard, can you hit one row of lights for me, please? I don't care. Just pick a row. Hopefully, the center row. It's the left switch. Perfect. There's still glare. There's still glare. Okay, let's make it much better. I know. I'm trying. Take that outside. Like, Got an idea. There you go. No glare. No glare. Glare's gone, right? Oh, there, oh, you, oh, there, there you go. Look. Oh, I need my flashlight. Richard, you're perfect. You are. Okay? Perfect. All right. So the red end points toward the south, right? Does that make sense? Yes. Right? So the red end, which we said was the north end of the, the, comp the compass inside the, in, or the magnet inside the compass, right? The red end is the north end of the, of the, mag the magnet inside the compass because it's attracted to the south, right? Now, if I take this magnet away, it's trying to realign itself so that it's pointing again to the north. And it's attracted to my magnets having the floor over here, right? But we'll put it back. Okay. So now I have these other locations. So what's going to happen? Which way is it going to point? Which way is it going to point? OK, so this fellas right here, at this point, there's a field line that does this, right? 
Right? Does that make sense? Tell them now. So if I go to other spots, which way is my compass going to point? Okay. What if I go right here? What'd you say, Richard? Whichever way the field line points. Okay? So on the top and on the bottom, right? The field line here, when we said that the field lines go out of the north, I'm gonna draw it a different color. Now I see why people like those uh, Elmos so much. Okay. Well, can't you get one? I do have one. It's in the back. Okay. So you go out of the north, right? This is kind of fun. And into the south. I don't know why people draw my table so much. Out of the north and into the south, right? Those are our field lines, aren't they? Yes. Right? So if I put this right here, it points in the same direction as the field line. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Julian. Now, up here, which way is the is the field line pointing? To the left. Yeah. Down here, same way, right? So which way will the compass point at those locations? Yeah. Which way will the compass point at those locations? In puzzle? Yes. Okay. What's that one down? Not 100% towards the south. It's not pointing exactly towards the south. If I get closer, I'm pointing more towards the south, right? But if I move further away, what happens? What about pointing right here? Same thing, right? But if I move it, What happens? They get close to the south, points to the south, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe when it's over here, it's being affected by our, by our Earth's rotational field, because we know Earth magnetic field. Because we know that way is north in, in the. Uh, you guys are seeing the same hand. So we know the way it's pointing right now aligns with, with our Earth's magnetic field, right? So let me, let me uh, try something different. What happened? They're going crazy, right? They're all going out of whack. But they're all realigning in the same or opposite way they were just so going. They're all realigning in the same or opposite way they were just going. This one's the key, right at the red spot. Right? This one's the key, the red spot's right here. They're realigning in the opposite direction. They flip the magnet around, right? So hopefully that shows that these ones aren't being affected by the Earth's magnetic field as much as they're being affected by this bar magnet's magnetic field. So I switch it back, and we're realigning. So Richard, what'd you say about the, what'd you say about the, uh, about the magnetic field, or the, the compasses? They point in the same direction as the, as the field lines. Okay. So if I put a compass right here, which way should the north end point? Towards the magnet or away from the magnet? Which way should the red part, the red, the red start point? Away. Towards or away? away? Away. Okay, so let's try it out. Richard, how are you gonna fix this one? Uh. Oh, <laughs> I messed up the experiment now. You're finally getting into some. Right. Why do you know right. how it feels? Other way. Keep going. Oh, there it is. Okay. So can you guys see? No. So the red end is pointing to the right. Right. Okay, good. I was getting tired of that. Heavy. I don't know how you guys get anything around your backpack. All right. What if I place my last one on this X? It's not pointing to the right anymore. It's pointing. Can you guys see it? Pointing away. Okay? So this one is pointing this way. Alright? This one's pointing that way. What's happening here, 
is the field lines around the magnets, right? The field lines around the magnet are affecting these compasses. The compasses always point in the same direction as the field lines. So the direction of field line points is the direction the compass points. You guys see that? Right here, the field line points right, so does the compass. Field line points right, so does the compass. You guys see it? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? How do we know which way the field line points in the direction? They always go out of north and into the south. Okay? Now, the reason being is there are field lines both inside the comp or inside a magnet and outside of a magnet. Okay? Outside of a magnet, the field lines point from north to south. Okay. Inside, they inside they point from south to north. South to north. Which is why this compass right here aligns with the north end facing the south. Because the, the field line within the magnet is trying to align with the field line outside of the magnet. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So let me quickly draw this picture. Actually, I have a better picture for the picture of this. I gotta serve my lunch trench and clean my table. All right. But here is the electric or electric field, my goodness. Magnetic field surrounding a typical magnet, right? Right? Field lines point out of the north and into the south. Okay? So Outside of the magnet, the field line point out of the north and into the south. So outside magnet field lines point north to south. Right? Any questions about that? And what do we see about inside the magnet? Inside magnet, field lines point south to north. So inside the magnet, there are field lines that point this way. And the way a compass works, like the little ones I was using around the magnet, the way a compass works, all right, is it is aligning its internal magnetic field with the magnetic field around, or with the magnetic field it's experiencing. So if I put a compass right here, it aligns so the north is on this end and the south is on that end. So that way the field within the compass magnet, okay, is parallel to the field it's feeling. Does that make sense? Okay. Now the compass magnet is very, very small compared to the magnetic field created by the magnet magnet. Okay? So when I put this little compass magnet here, it has a tiny little magnetic field surrounding it that looks like this. But does it affect the larger field? No, it's kind of the whole test charge thing with the with the with the test charge and the big charge, right? The test charge doesn't change the electric field. Same thing here. The compass is like a test magnet; it doesn't change the magnetic field. So what happens if I put a magnet? If I put a compass here, which way is the point? Which way is the point? Will the north end be on the on the right or on the left? North end would be on the left. Because south attracted to north. So the compass would point that way. Does that make sense? And as I move the compass around the board, if I was right here, the compass would point this way. Which means I have north, south. Okay? If I was over here, the compass would point this way. 
And which means we have north, south. Yeah. So I was down here and the compass would point this way. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So the compass aligns its internal magnetic field with the field surrounding it. Any questions? And that's what I'm trying to get the hanging magnet to, align its internal field with the field surrounding it. But I had to bump into it again, and it's not going to work. Any questions about this? Any questions about this? Now, where is the field the strongest around this magnet? Where is the field the strongest? Is it the same as the needle would be the bottom and there's the most lines? Mm -hmm. So, where's the most lines, Sergio? I say coming out of the north. Coming out of the north or? Going into the south. Going into the south, good. The field lines are the most dense here. So, that's where the, the magnetic field is the strongest because the lines are the closest together, it's the most dense. Remember, this says outside magnetic field lines point north. Does that make sense? Any questions about magnetic fields and how compasses work? So the compass aligns itself in the same direction as the field line it's experiencing, okay? Where the north end is the way the field line is pointing. Okay. Any questions? Okay, so we got a good understanding about, about what's going on around a magnet and why magnets feel forces from each other, right? Why do magnets feel forces from each other? Because they are in a, because they create a magnetic field. Just like charges create electric fields, magnets create magnetic fields. And that's how they know the field forces from each other. Are there any questions about that? So now let's think about the why. Why? 